Hey, welcome back to DIY Malia again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the coolant breeder housing on this 2005 Dodge Stratus with 2.7 liter V6. This procedure is the same for the Moss cars with 2.7 liter V6. This housing can crack and cause a leak in the front of your engine. Now there are three hoses connected to the housing. All three of them probably have this uh, pinch straight clamp. You can see you have pinched the clamp and then pull your can twist the hose. Use a plier to grab the hose and twist it on the housing or just pull also you could use a screwdriver to pull in between the hoses in the housing that can break it free as well. Now time to disconnect the electrical connection by pressing and pulling that locking tab up and then press the tab and disconnect. Disconnect your map sensor by pressing on the tab and pulling it off. Sometimes too hard to pull it off so you can use the flat screwdriver to pull it off. Start out using a 10mm socket and ratchet or wrench and Remove the cover that's right next to the throttle intake. You'll see the 10 mm balls and then all 7 of the other 10 mm balls that hold the upper intake manifold down. We have to remove all of them. And you just need a little bit of clearance. So once you have those balls out, lift it up. We put the screwdriver on there just to hold it up. Now use an 8mm socket and flexible ratchet and you can get to the angle and remove the 4 bolts that hold into housing. When you lose it all. You can go ahead and just lift it, this whole assemble out and make sure that you remove those white gasket right here. This need to come off because you knew uh, housing will have these uh, gaskets on there. So you can clean up this area with the uh, brake cleaners or any kind of cleaners like that. Uh, it just uh, spray and wipe it out. New bleeder housing from Amazon. So you can see that uh, an exact match. You're gonna pull the four ball out and put it into the new one for reinstallation. Put the new housing in place and start the ball in. We'll tighten these uh, eight millimeter balls up and just want to see them all first get them all seated and then tighten up evenly using kind of a crossing pattern You can go ahead and catch all the hoses back and reconnect your connectors. Then what you want to do the at this point, once you drop the intake manifold back down, is to go ahead and tighten up all of the 10 mm nuts uh, that are holding the intake manifold down.
once you get tightened up you can go ahead and put uh, your cover back on that goes right here and put the 10 millimeter back Make sure you're tightening everything back up and go ahead fill it up with the coolant and engine running. You all want to take a 3-8 wrench, turn that bleeder a little bit uh, counterclockwise, allow any air to escape until you have the good fluid coming out. If they're tightening back up and run your car and make sure you fill the radiator bottle proper level. Hope you got something out of it, give it thumbs up, share, comment and ring the bell to subscribe for upcoming new tutorials. Thanks again, see you in next video.